Nine JDAMs, nine targets, one pass. Today I'm showing you how to ripple off nine JDAMs in a single strike. One of the most effective ways to clear out multiple stationary targets inside of DCS World. I use this method all the time, and after this video, so will you. If you're new to the F-15E Strike Eagle, make sure you check out my startup tutorial first. I'll link it in the description below so you can go from cold and dark to fully mission ready. And if you want the mission yourself, the file is available in the pinned comment and the DCS user files section. Just make sure you have the Syria map. All right, let's go drop some bombs. Okay, let's get into the procedure here. So we're going to turn the autopilot on. So we'll click on autopilot, altitude hold with heading mode. We're heading to this waypoint here, which is steer point one. There's nine targets. First, we'll go with the master arm armed. So over here on the left, master arm armed. And we'll go into air to ground mode. Next, we'll set up our displays. So we'll set up the teapot first. We'll hit menu, teapot. And then we need to slew the targeting pod over to waypoint one. So we'll click one for going to UFC here. And then we'll click up here on push button number 17. Slew the targeting pod over. Make sure you hit the expand button so we get that extra level of digital zoom. We're going to need it. We'll come over to the right. Go to menu, armament. And we'll set up our air to ground munitions here. So we'll select air to ground. And we're going to do... This procedure here that kind of alleviates a bug that I've found with the GBUs. So you select all nine of them and you try to input all the coordinates. Sometimes one or two won't accept any coordinates and you can't get them off the, you know, off the jet. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up three different programs here. And it, it might sound difficult, but it's actually pretty simple. So program number one is going to be the outboard bombs. We'll go to direct. We'll go step, nose and tail. Now program number two is going to be these six bombs underneath the aircraft will do the same thing direct step nose and tail and program number three is going to be the center line so select the center line direct step nose and tail and we'll go back to program number one so it has the outboard program two has the underneath the aircraft six of them program three has the center line so we have nine bombs set up ready to go now we're going to go to our smart weapons so it's going to be on menu number three smart weapons so the outboard stations are selected first because we're in program one. If we hit station transfer, it goes between the two because those are the only two bombs that we had selected. So we'll start on station number two, and that's going to be our first bomb we're going to put off. Now that we're looking at the targeting pod, we need to do castle hat switch left long to make it our soy. auto -ac forward, or auto acquisition forward to zoom in. This is our digital zoom. It is hard to see a little bit here. We can put our visor down to help out a little bit depends on what you want to do you can also mess with the contrast which helps out a little bit here and increase the brightness excellent all right so that's gonna be our first target we're gonna hit the depress button to designate so that's gonna be tdc switch press tdc switch press so that's gonna be designated now we're gonna come over to the right and hit on targeting pod transfer this is gonna put the targeting pod coordinates into this bomb here so we're going to hit station transfer to go to number eight and find our second target. We're about to go mast here. We'll readjust this in just a second. We'll designate and targeting pod transfer. So program one is all set up. Click on program two. And since it's still on this last bomb here, we'll hit station transfer and we're set to go for the next set of bombs. Let's turn to the right. Since the teapot here is on the right, We'll turn the autopilot back on and continue our work here. So we're doing number three now. Slew on over. There's number three. Designate. Teapot transfer. Station transfer. Number four. Designate. Teapot transfer. Station transfer. And we're going to do this for all nine. So here's number five. Designate. Teapot transfer. 
Station transfer. Here's number six. Designate teapot transfer. Station transfer. Number seven. Designate teapot transfer. Station transfer. And you can see right here, here's number eight. We'll target designate that. Come over to the teapot transfer. Now we're going to go to program three. And station transfer to get this last bomb here. Here's number nine. Designate teapot transfer. All right, now all nine bombs are set up. We'll go back to program number one. And we'll turn inbound. So we're turning it inbound. Master arm is armed, air to ground mode. We'll put our visor down for maximum coolness effectiveness. You can do auto or direct. I like to do direct. So if you do direct, the pickle button or the weapon release button is hot whenever you press it. So if you're in auto mode, which works, you have to wait until this designation mark here and then it will start working. So I like to do it myself. Do you like to do it yourself? Press the weapon release button for each bomb. So remember the first program is two bombs, so we'll press it twice. We'll switch to program two, hit it six times, and then switch to program three, hit it once. So now we're in zone, and here we go. So we're in zone one, two, program two, one, two, three, four, five, six, program three, and that's our last bomb. So there we go. Nine bombs are away on nine targets. And that's how you ripple nine JDMs in one pass. Quick, efficient, and super effective. Now you have a new trick to add to your F-15E arsenal inside of DCS World. If this helped you, hit that like button and subscribe for more Strike Eagle content. That's it for today. See you in the skies.